half of us live and get by and get the shit that we want, bitch, because y'all niggas be having a fucking secret that half you hoes know about. Bitch. Girl, like, bitch, let's be real. Like, girl, who gives a fuck? Girl, who gives a fuck, bitch? You should just be happy your nigga fucking bad bitches. Oh, I, well, I wouldn't give a fuck. If my, if my nigga fuck another trans or a motherfucking female, bitch, I wouldn't give a fuck, bitch. Bitch, this makes it a bitch bad. Hey, bitch, don't make me feel like, damn, nigga, you fuck anything. Bitch, don't go fuck a nigga. Bitch, like, don't go fuck a nigga with a beard, bitch. Don't go fuck a fat, nasty, sloppy bitch. Like, if you could go cheat on me or fuck on me or, or bitch, something like that, bitch, just let it be with a bitch that look like something. Bitch, like, come on, y'all hoes know what it is. Y'all know these niggas fucking us, bitch. Girl, the shade is these niggas is fucking y'all little brothers and y'all little boys. Bitch, but y'all got an issue with them fucking us. Bitch, at least we grown. Ho. Oh. Bitch. The fuck? You should be happy he he up fucked somebody, bitch. He fucked somebody that was an upgrade from your nothing ass. The fuck? Y'all hoes be irking my motherfucking nerve, bitch. Mind your business. Just worry about who going in and out that motherfucking pussy. Just keep worrying about how many fucking abortions you hoes is having, bitch. That's what y'all hoes need to be worried about. Worry about how many times you done been pregnant and aborted the motherfuckers. Bitch, you just worry about how many uh, Plan B pills you done motherfucking took. Ho. Bitch, that's what the fuck you hoes worried about, bitch. Don't worry about what that nigga doing with another dick. The fuck? Mind your fucking business. I tell y'all all the time, if we all mind our business, live in our truth. And learn to love. This world would be a better place. It is that simple, bitch. If we did those three things, would the world be perfect? No. But the world would be such a better, peaceful place. Mind your business. Live in your truth. Bitch. That's it, girl. Mind your motherfucking business, ho. Period. Mind your motherfucking business. You guys, we're almost in our first box. I need um. Like oh, what last night? I think it was a misunderstanding. I what what I think is, I feel like sometimes I know you, and the last time I told you, I said sometimes when you feel attacked, you you become very defensive sometimes, and then go get everybody. Hey, first like, of all, oh, what are you something? talking about? I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. Last night when we was on uh, Zari's uh, panel, and they was talking about who is Zari? Um, trans um, Siri, sorry, oh, S Y R E. Yeah, Zaire. Yeah, I say I call him Siri. Okay, but yeah, well, wait, wait, um, wait, 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 wait. Before you tell me that I was on the attack and I was on the defense mode, first of all, sweetheart, I want you to know what you don't know is, and I do accept your apology for whatever reason you felt you feel like you're apologizing. But let me let you know something. When I came on there, I came up there only to talk to the host. Okay. And, and, I thought and, you said my name. That's why I'm saying something to you. No, 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 no. I said, I said your name because I was referencing something that you had said. I didn't say what nothing. Was that? What, okay, that was, that's what I was trying to figure out because there were so many people on the panel. It was getting a little house out. What I want you to know, when I come and ask any question, I'm in the defense of all of us because we are a we. It's not no separation. And the only issue that I had with that conversation was that Sometimes we cannot disrespect. I don't want to disrespect um, our sisters in the community. But at the same time, I feel like sometimes people have disrespected our sisters so much in the community that even having a yang show these apps, I just was felt real bad about how you felt and then the other girls felt because it comes off like, oh, our sisters are being left behind and I don't want them to feel like the whole community feels that way. And then how do we fix it? How do we get to that place? Feel that every man feels that way because I have some gay brothers that are knock a bitch head off about me. But the truth is, the majority of gay men are that way. Mm. They are. Period. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Would you uh, another gay man will give you a hard time? Yeah, they do. They Don't do act this out. How gays see each other in the streets? Don't act like y'all are all lovey dovey. Talk about it. The only reason why they can't tell your T is because somebody probably already, uh, because other people already know. And then they also <laughs> hate me because I am masculine to a certain extent and I carry myself to a certain way. And if I don't fall in the lines of what they want me to be, and you, or if I don't want to sleep with them, then they get thing, mad and then want to read you. I feel like a lot of gay men are, are jealous of when it comes to trans women is our boldness and our passable privilege. Because, bitch, mm. every trans woman. Can, every trans woman is not don't look like an Uncle Fester. So no, they don't. When, when a lot 
because I'm going to be honest, when I see a certain type of gay man, especially if I don't know him, if I see a special, a certain type of gay man in public, bitch, I will walk right past him. Because I know those are the main ones. Because I've seen a gay man get my teeth several times. Yeah. And I really feel like that jealousy comes into because, bitch, you live your life 24-7 as a punk. Everybody know your motherfucking teeth and you ain't fooling nobody. Period. Amen. Hey, man. I support you and I love you, but I'm going to get back to work. And if you ever up here, I love you, all right? I appreciate and I, it. And I love you as well. All right, and God bless you, and I'm proud of you. And we got to link up on some business tips, so I'm going to hit you up, okay? All right. I got some shit rolling, and I would love to intertwine you with it. All righty. Thank you. No problem, my love. Later. Bump up. Like, bitch, what's going on? Like, we're having a real dope-ass conversation, because this, honestly, my platform is going to have to be the platform that this, come, this topic has to be held by, because there's nobody else on this motherfucking app that can have a real-ass motherfucking conversation about this fucking topic. I fucking fag can't have this motherfucking topic on their motherfucking panel. A straight woman can't have this motherfucking topic on a motherfucking panel without being jealous or insecure in some type of way. A straight man can't have this motherfucking topic on their motherfucking panel without worrying about whether somebody gonna consider them gay or not. So, bitch, now I guess I gotta do it. Bitch, when biological women are, are coming to the forefront and finally being admitting the fact that bitch i'm jealous of trans women we have a fucking problem when gay men are not protecting their trans sisters because they really want to be the girl we have a motherfucking problem when straight men will fuck us and kill us in the same night bitch we have a motherfucking problem when the trans girls can't stick together because bitch we're so busy in our in motherfucking competition and trying to worry about who more passive or who will get the most niggas bitch we have a motherfucking problem And to you bitches running around here that are, are trans experienced bitch and feel like, oh, because you're, you, you got, you, you real passable or because bitch, you got a soft voice or bitch, because you have a pussy bitch, you are still a transgender woman, ho. You still can't have no motherfucking kids. And I don't honestly see what is the, the embarrassing thing about being trans.